Uh, back to school, that's a big theme this week, right? And um, one of the things about getting back to school, which means folks that used to be home with the family cat, the family dog, are no longer going to be home during the meat of the day. And it came up that it's an adjustment period for our pets, which I hadn't really thought about, but sure it is. Uh, Laura Klink is here with the Oregon Humane Society. So it's kind of like you worry about your pet when you take that little vacation, right? They're going to be home by themselves. Sure. So the one thing before kids go back to school is maybe starting to establish a routine before the kids go back to school, because like you mentioned, maybe during the summer you're on vacation with your dog and you're with them all day, every day, or even with your cat because you're at home a lot. And so it can be an, a big adjustment for pets when you when the kids suddenly go back to school and and they're alone in the house and it could cause some anxiety yeah. and some some, you know, anxiousness. <laughs> they don't know kind of why the party's over. So what well, we hear about establishing a routine with our kids, but I've never thought about it before with the pet. So they expect the morning walk around the same time. Yeah, and especially thinking ahead to what your schedule is going to look like when the kiddos start school. So yeah. if you're having to get up a little bit earlier, you know, make sure you build in that time to take your dog for a nice long walk or play with your cat for, you know, 15 to 20 minutes to to kind of kind of yeah. put them in the, the middle of the routine so and the have them be part of the routine. Ever we have a dog that's not a morning person. Our dog Maximus is not a morning dog. He would rather sleep till like nine or ten. I've always had dogs that wanted that's to get up at sunrise. Dog. Yeah. <laughs> But my question is, I mean, is there research that shows dogs really do get accustomed to a certain schedule and certain hours of the day? Well, they really, animals really thrive on routine and that predictability. So, you know, for your dog, if he's not a morning dog, you know, maybe really having that special time in the afternoon where you go out and you play Frisbee or you go for a walk. Um, you know, for your guy um, and for a lot of dogs that, you know, just to keep their brains busy while we're at work or the kiddos are at school, you know, some of these kind of toys where you can put treats in them. Um, your pet can roll it around and yeah. get the treats out of them. We and had a black lab that would spend hours licking peanut butter out of this car. Oh, Kong. these things are great. I mean, you give it to him yeah. when you left and then you came home and he was still working on exactly. it. Exactly. Or like little Nyla bones. So, you know, as you're leaving the home, the, the pet sort of sees, okay, well, I get a special treat when you leave. It's not sort of all bad news. Yeah, when that's you what leave. I noticed. Yeah. Pets are so visual. They see the leash come out and they know it's time to go for a walk and they get excited. Yeah. And But again, they would miss that if nine o'clock every morning you were walking the dog and then how do you know if the pet is you know suffering emotionally I mean, I think that, um, you know, again, they really thrive on routine. So as you're planning as a family for what back to school is going to look like, make sure you have that time uh, allotted to spend with your pet, either walking or playing Frisbee. But will the pet sleep more or as a person would do if, if there's some depression there? Um, you know, I think just every every pet is different. Uh, so really watching for signs of kind of moping and maybe, maybe being a little de bit depressed. But, you know, there are a lot of things you can do, like taking a class, you know, as the kids go back to school, you can sign up for an obedience class with your dog and make that a kind of family routine. So as you're as you're entering the fall in this kind of new stage um, and back to school, think about just different ways to incorporate your pet into some mm -hmm. fun new stuff. Or something like a dog walker coming by in the afternoon yeah. just to sort of break up the monotony of being alone. And those opportunities seem to be growing, right? The daycare, the dog, we mm -hmm. had a person in our neighborhood uh, over the summer. A mm -hmm. uh, high school gal is looking to make a little bit of extra money doing that. Of course, mm -hmm. now she's back in school. But mm -hmm. All right, well, great information. Thank you, Laura Klink with the Oregon uh, Humane Society.